Cancel me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I didn't have no more these. Y'all, if y'all ain't believe Cat at the beginning of the year when he dropped that Bob Shell interview with with Shannon, man, it's about to be June and we st he's still breaking news, basically still breaking news early. So TD Jakes better be careful, like, <laughs> cause everything he was talking about seemed to be pretty much true, man. Other than the the five thousand book books thing, I'm I'm with Cat, man, but. That's crazy, like how he telling y'all basically essentially what's about to happen this year and it's all coming into fruition, man. Crazy. So Diddy, man, Diddy, I ain't, I don't think I ever seen like, and I done seen some people go down, but I, I don't think I ever seen nobody go down this bad. You know what I'm saying? In the, like, man, that video with Cassie, that ruined that man. Everything, he done lost 18 different uh, businesses, sponsorships, and stuff that he even had already. It's looking ugly, man. Look, check this. Difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. so sorry but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day I'm not asking for forgiveness I'm truly sorry yeah man so so look man it's over with for Diddy you know what I'm saying the apology was was fake you already know they pretty much was a PR move they made them do it the PR was terrible because they ain't even had nothing. They ain't even take out the time to make sure that they made this apology seem realistic. It was just like something that he did because he had to do it. He felt like, man, oh man, everybody on my ass. I didn't, I didn't got caught, you know, being a scumbag, and I gotta hurry up and try to save face real quick, try to clean his face. So he gonna try to go ahead and. And make it seem like he really, really sad and sorry about what he did. Man, it's been, that was eight years ago. You know what I'm saying? It take for the footage to come out for you to apologize to begin with. You don't really care. You know what I'm saying? You don't really care. You just did that because everybody on your head right now, man. Ultimately, he ain't got nobody, man. Nobody is on his side right now. I ain't seen not one person say, you know what? You know, give Diddy a break. Nope. They on his head as they should be. It was foul play. It was dirty. You know what I'm saying? I got a mom. I got aunties. I got daughters. You know what I'm saying? All of that, man. Like, I can only imagine, you know what I'm saying? This happened to one of my family members, and they got to live with a, basically with a monster. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was scared, you know? She uh under, under uh blankets. Man, that's a sad look, man. And I'm looking like, man, this is terrible, man. Like, people look up to Puff. So, when you somebody like that, that people gonna look up to, you gotta be, you gotta be a role model, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to tell you to be no superhero and, you know, all of that, man. You ain't gotta be the best citizen in the world and all of that. We ain't, ain't nobody perfect. 
but some things can just be uh some, when you, when you living like Diddy living man some got to be sick in your head to think that beating on a woman is okay and then apologizing after you get caught you know what i'm saying that's like stealing a cookie your hand get caught in a cookie jar you like sorry no you should have been thinking about that before you put your hand in the cookie jar, man. Puffy, you you cancel, bruh. Top flow, I'm doing my best to cancel you for real. I ain't got no respect for you. And I know a lot of people around me feel the same way. A lot of people in the industry feel the same way. It's just over with for you. And Cat Williams exposed this early on in the year. So it's like, hey, you did what you did. Now you got to... Suffer the consequences. Basically, you made your bed, you gotta lay in it. Hey, puff, it's over with, B.